Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Bella here. In today's tutorial, I have a holiday makeup look for you guys. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So for my first step, I'm going to be adding MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot all over my lid to prime the eyes. And I just like to use my finger for this step. As usual, I'm going to set that with a translucent powder just so when we go in with our eyeshadows, it's going to blend a lot easier. The first eyeshadow that I'm gonna go in with is Makeup Geek Chickadee. And this color looks really, really bright, but it is perfect for a transition shade because it gives warmth, but it's not too dark. The next eyeshadow that I'm gonna go in with is Frappe from Makeup Geek. And I'm gonna add this into the crease directly and kind of fade it upward into that chickadee shade that we just applied. And as usual, I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush just to really blend those two shades together. The next shade that I'm going to go in with is Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. And it's a warmer brown, kind of dark, a little bit darker than Frappe. And I'm just going to be applying this to the outer crease. And now I'm going in with a fluffier brush just to really blend that out and make sure there's no harsh edges. And now I'm going in with Cocoa Bear once more with a more defined brush just to really kind of carve out the crease a little bit. And as usual, I'm blending, blending, blending to make sure that we have no harsh lines or harsh edges. If you're having trouble blending, you can always go back in with the transition shades that we applied earlier just to really help blend out that eyeshadow. The next shade that I'm going to be going in with is Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer. And I'm going to be placing this in the brow bone. And now I'm taking Makeup Geek's Whimsical, which is a foiled eyeshadow. And it's a really gorgeous vanilla shade with hints of purple, a little bit of purple. I don't know if you guys can tell. And I'm just going to be packing this all over the lid. Now taking my black liquid liner from NYX, I'm going to be lining my eyes. And I get a little bit in and out of frame right here, so my apologies. But the tape on the side of my eyes really helps to make this super, super foolproof and easy because once you peel that tape off, you have a super sharp wing without having to try and it leaves no room for errors. In this tutorial, I'm not going to be showing how I apply my foundation and concealer because we have a highlight and contour routine which includes a foundation routine. So if you want to see that, I'll link it below. But in the next clip, I'm going to already have my foundation and concealer applied. Now I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Chickadee and I'm going to be buffing this all over the lower lash line just to prep for darker shades that we're going to apply. Now I'm taking Makeup Geek's Morocco and I'm going to be applying this with more of a defined brush and I really really love this shade. Look at how warm and gorgeous it looks. Now I'm just going in with black gel liner and I'm going to be lining my waterline and I always do this step. It just really pulls the look together. Now finishing up the lower lash line, I'm going to be going in with Makeup Geek Bitten. And I'm just going to be using a flat definer brush just to really buff this on the lower lash line. You guys know me, I love to highlight my inner tear duct. So for this step, I'm using Whimsical. And it really, really makes the inner tear duct pop but it's too bright on its own, so I'm just blending it out a little bit. And now I'm going to be bronzing the face, and I'm using Milani Fake Tan Bronzer as usual. And I'm going to be buffing this on the sides of my face, on my forehead, um, beneath my chin to get rid of the double chin, and below my nose just to kind of shorten it and give the illusion of a shorter nose. Now I'm going in with the Anastasia Powder Contour Kit and I'm just going to be going over the same areas that I bronzed but just defining it a little bit more. And the brush that I'm using is the BX55 from Royale and Langnickel. Now I'm going in with my go-to blush. I think I've used this in every single tutorial because I am that obsessed with it. It's Rosy Oro from Milani. I'm going to be using this gorgeous red corally shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's called Electric Coral and I absolutely love this shade. It's really similar to the shade that Omrizi just released with Lipland Cosmetics. I think it's called Brooklyn, but yeah, 
that's the kind of look that I was going for. <laughs> and now I'm going in with some cream highlight and mine is from So Susan. And now I'm going in with a highlight and I'm using MAC Cosmetics Oh Darling Highlight. And unfortunately it is limited edition but it's literally the same exact shade as Whisper of Guilt, so I am obsessing over it. And this is the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys.